hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Um, this video is a bit longer than my usual ones. It was a bit of a project that I started. Um, I was repainting my bedroom wall and I had a big clear out and rearranged some of the furniture and I realised I had a lot more space now so I thought I'd make the most of it and I decided to put together a little cosy nook area for when I age regress <laughs> or I'm overwhelmed and as you can see it was off to an absolutely awful start <laughs> um, I'd bought like, pink and white foam tiles that I was going to make a pattern out of but I bought them in completely different sizes so I had to abandon that and just stick with the white tiles uh, this is so embarrassing <laughs> Um, I've done like an awful job with the painting that I'm only just realizing now I'm watching this and I probably could have done with mopping the floor again so I'm very sorry about that I'm not usually this much of a scruff um, but it is what it is I filmed it now so <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it all down and do it again uh, but yeah here I am uh, putting the tiles down so that if I'm crawling in and out of the tent or just sitting in there uh, it's a bit less uncomfortable. Some nice soft padding. <laughs> Ta-da! There it is. Lovely. The exciting stuff. <laughs> and then next is the tent, uh, which I've just very unceremoniously thrown on the floor. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of things being just dropped on the floor in this video. So those are the poles uh, for the structure. And that's the tent cover and that is I believe the curtain yeah the curtain for the front of the tent great <laughs> so one thing to know about me uh, is that I can't visualize things in my head I don't know if there's like a term for it but um, from what I understand when people get like directions um, they can like visualize the street as they're walking down it or even on like a more simple uh, level people can like imagine a shape and rotate it in their mind and, like see it in the mind all of this to say I can't do that so I'm terrible at following instructions and this took me a very long time <laughs> um, I ended up like not filming some of it because I was that embarrassed because I had to take it apart so many times but that's okay we all have our strengths and weaknesses um, and I did get there eventually here I am doing the finishing touches oh look at that cinematography <laughs> there we go and then the pole for the top and the cover Again, I wrestled with this for a really long time. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, I couldn't understand what I was supposed to be doing. So um, that's back to front, that's back to front. And there we go. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so happy with it, it's so cute. Um, so for added comfort, I bought a dog bed, but it was smaller and thinner than I thought. And at that point I was like, Oh, if only I had some foam left over and luck would have it, I did! So, there we go. That goes in there quite nicely. And then some blankets. And another one. And look at that snazzy transition. I'm learning! <laughs> uh, so, this is the fun part, decorating. Um, some cushions no safe space cozy area is complete without some fairy lights so there they are and I'm a big fan of like warm toned fairy lights like the yellowy ones it was um, to clip on photographs I thought that would be nice things that make me happy sort of thing um, and here I am putting uh, some comfort items, um, fidget toys, chews uh, into a basket so they're all together when I need them. Um, pretty self-explanatory, that's my pop tube. What else have I got? 
squishy dog. <laughs> and I think I have another. Yep. I, I don't know what that's about. I think I was gonna add like a sniffing noise. <laughs> uh, some more fidget toys. My friend bought me that one and I'm obsessed with it. That's a worry doll. And there's something else I think. Oh, there's more. Fidget spinner. sensory stuff. I have this little bubble machine and the spaceman nightlight that my friend got me a few years back. He's very cute. I love him. Uh, the only downside is right now I need to find a way to get him inside because he looks so lonely. <laughs> he looks so lonely standing outside the tent but he, he has a beautiful like warm sunset colour which I really really like. I think it adds to it a lot. Look how pretty! <laughs> uh, after that I took a ice lolly break. I was so tired um, but there was one thing left to do and that was uh, change the handles on my chest of drawers. Um, the ones that I have are cute but they're just not my sort of style and as you can tell they were coming away anyway. So I got these cute ones, little pink stars, uh, and these came off pretty easily. I didn't even really need the screwdriver, and away we go. There's a few of them done, and that's all of them. And at this point, I think it was a combination of being worn out and starting to regress that I just kind of flopped in here, <laughs> uh, and I made the most of it. Yeah, I love it. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.